Hi everyone! Today on my bench I have a Cymatic Audio U-Track 24, a recorder, player and USB interface. This thing seems to work until you plug in a USB drive here for recording, at which point it seems to reboot again and again and again. Let's have a look. Here is the back of the unit. Here we have a power connector, 15 volts DC, Ethernet for control, USB when it works as a computer interface, but it can also work as a standalone recorder and player. MIDI out, it can play MIDI messages together with audio files synchronized with them. Word clock, in and out, this is main out, stereo mix, and the 24 channels of balanced line level inputs and outputs. 8 channels per connector, 3 pins per channel, so called Tascam pinout. And here is a slot for extension card uh, for digital I.O. I've seen MADI and uh, ADAT interfaces. Let's test. I don't have a power supply for it, but I keep a lot of different power cords for testing so I just found one with a suitable connector. And it might be more convenient to have a lab supply for troubleshooting anyway. In particular we can measure and uh, limit the current. This thing does not have a power switch and I set the supply to 15 volts already. Let's turn it on. So this thing boots up and consumes about 600 milliamps. Unfortunately, the screen is flickering on camera, nothing like that in person, no problem with that. We can go through menus, so it seems to work. Let's see what happens if I plug in this 8GB USB stick. So it briefly shows mounting drive, then goes blank and keeps flashing like this, on and on. And if I unplug the stick, it boots again and seems to work again. Let's try again. Same thing. And if we try to power it up when the USB stick is already plugged in, no difference. So let's take the lid off and have a look inside. Here we are inside. We can see several separate boards. This board is called main board with this daughter board on top of it. Microcontroller here, flash and RAM. Here I can see several DC to DC converters marked 3.3 volts, 5 volts, plus and minus VA perhaps plus minus 12 or something for analog stuff. This board is called analog I.O. And here we have 24 channels of op amps and the three 8 channel uh, Cirrus Logic DAX and ADCs. And for some reason three separate, I believe single channel Burr Brown ADCs or Texas Instruments these days. This is a center board, looks like just interconnects. And let me turn this around. Here we have front panel board with buttons, LEDs, uh, main out control, headphones volume control and jack and another jack is for foot pedal. Clickable encoder here, display. And this small board is the uh, USB connector with cable running over here. So I started checking around here and this is what I found. This small chip is a special USB switch which can connect uh, USB interface in this micro either to this USB connector or to this connector on the front panel. 
So the unit can work either as a computer interface or as a standalone recorder and player. And I traced uh, data lines, plus and minus, uh, to these two pins, or uh, green and black here. This is the shield, the thick one, and the uh, red one is ground for some reason, and white is 5 volts. And look at this. Continuity mode. Shield is connected to ground, as expected. And this is one data line, and this is the other one, which is not expected. It's shorted to ground for some reason. Perhaps on that uh, front panel board. Let's remove it and have a closer look at it. Here is this USB connector board under a microscope. There are two sets of soldering points, smaller ones and larger ones. So this larger one is used for the shield and it is clearly connected to ground and the red wire is clearly connected to ground and the data lines go to these two pins in the connector, which is expected. And we can see these two packages, D1 and D2, must be protection diodes. Perhaps uh, TVS diodes or Zeners or something like that. Must be two diodes per package with a common point. This one and this one. And they are connected to the ground plane. So we have diodes between each data line and ground. And these two diodes are connected together and they are between 5 volt rail and ground. And let's check. This data line is OK and this one is shorted to ground. And I suspect protection diode. Now let's uh, desolder this package and see if the short goes away. And uh, let's see what the marking is. I believe it is L6. Look at this. I desoldered the diode and the short is still there. What can possibly be shorted here? The connector looks perfectly fine to me. Maybe this large blob of solder is touching the ground plane somehow? Let's fix this bad soldering job. So, I fixed this mess and it seems to me that solder mask indeed was slightly damaged here. At least now the short is gone. And this is the other data line. No problem. So let's put the diode back. The diode is back. Let's check. No short. Perfect. I had to turn the camera gain down, otherwise the display was completely washed out. So, let's check. Look at this. Mounting drive. System date and time not set. No songs in folder. Let's try recording. Take one. It is recording. Stop. Preloading son. Take one. Very cool. The unit is back together. And it seems to me that it never worked as a standalone recorder. It was defective straight from the factory. Now it's fixed. Thanks for watching. Bye.